1960, well, I forgot to bring it here. Um, there was a, a, a book written by two guys, um, Gurley and Shaw. called Money and a Theory of Finance. Uh, 1960, published by Brookings. I forgot to bring it, but you have some passages from it. Okay, on your, I think it's the reading for this week, or if it's not, it's for next week. Um, the, uh, they use this terminology, direct and indirect finance. Okay, direct finance is this kind of thing, okay, where, where the primary lender is directly lending to the primary borrower without any intermediation. And indirect finance is this, where there's an intermediary in between. Okay. But what Gurley and Shaw were em are emphasizing in that, in that book, um, in those chapters that you're reading, was the importance of intermediation, not just in the money market, but also in the capital market intermediation for long-term finance, right? So in that sense, they're, they're following in the, in, the sh in the footsteps of Harold Moulton, okay? Who's saying banks, banks that are serving as intermediaries for development finance are totally key for American, American economic development, okay? Gurlier and Shaw are saying it's not just banks, okay, but other intermediaries as well, okay? That, are, that have been growing up since Moulton's day. And so this is what I want to talk about now. I want to talk about uh, capital market intermediaries and how, and, and then link that to, to banks.